Hello, 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 everyone. Autoimmune Prepper here. I hope everyone is having a wonderful and blessed Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. If you are new to my channel, let me say welcome. Thank you for being here. I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. With doing so, also make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you'll be notified when I put out new videos. If you are already a subscriber, you know the deal. Thank you, I'm so grateful that you're here. I also wanna encourage you to make sure that you have also hit the notification bell. If you stumbled across the channel or if you searched to see if I put out new videos because you were not uh, notified, just double check that. Also double check, make sure that you are still currently subscribed to my channel uh, YouTube has a funny algorithm thing going on so it's also important that I ask you to leave some type of comment down in the comment section maybe you can put a happy face you can put good info thanks for the info good content we love seeing you thank you autoimmune prepper you know I don't know some kind of comment if you just really don't have a comment but put something in there so that way it helps me it helps with the algorithm it helps YouTube to know that you are watching and you are engaged or you like the content because you do some kind of interaction with me in addition to um, putting thumbs up so whatever you could do to help me grow I would greatly appreciate it um, but I'm going to bring content, whether I have one viewer, one subscriber, or 100,000. But as usual, with anything that we do, we always want to grow. So I want to continue to grow as I come and bring content to you all. And I can't do it without your help. So again, your help would be greatly appreciated. Uh, so now, oh. One other thing, so I do have a, a store. I never promote it. I always forget to promote it. Um, so it has t-shirts in the store. I'll put the link in the description. It would be greatly appreciated if you take a look at the, the items. If you purchase, wonderful, but at least take a look. That would be appreciated as well. Um, now, so... Okay, so this video, what I want to talk about is, as all of you should know by now, that there is a lot going on. There's a lot going on with the mandates. There's a lot going on with people quitting, walking away. So particularly my concern, as well as I'm sure many of you with autoimmune illnesses or disabilities your concerns would be what is going to happen for those of us who have ongoing <clears throat> treatments that we have to have done uh, for instance I have a treatment that I have to get every six months so it's like a chemotherapy treatment it's called an infusion and it's supposed to prevent any relapses. Um, while I try to implement other healthy uh, things into my life, at least I'm supposed to, I'm not gonna lie. I don't do it as often as I should, but I really need to get on track with that. And that's why I'm talking to you because if you're not doing it and you have, any type of um, ailments, health issues, we really, at this point, have got to really try and get on track and do as much as we can with what's with, 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 with within our abilities to do. Well, I don't know, I do a minute to spit that out. So, as a fellow autoimmune um, individual, I want to speak to you all with um, any disabilities 
um, lupus, asthma, any respiratory issues that you have. If you have certain medications that you take ongoing, because we don't know where all of this is heading, well, we kind of got an idea where all this is heading, correction, let's get ahead of the game. So if there's any way, any way possible, you can get your uh, physician, your doctor to prescribe additional medications for you, <clears throat> you may want to think about doing that. If you have breathing machines, I don't really know what those consist of, like the components and the parts to them, but hopefully you do have um, a, a generator, a small like solar generator in your home in case power outages that you can power up your generator. Um, a small refrigerator for medicine, those medications that need to be um, cold and stored in, 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 a, in a little refrigerator. Um, I don't think outside the box have those little styrofoam chests. Um, they have those cold packs. Stock up on some cold packs. You don't activate them until you need them. So you stock up on something like that for those of you who have medications that need to stay cold. Again, antibiotics, whatever kind of medication that you need, if you can get it in excess or surplus, even if it's little by little, like before you fully run out, you may holler at your doctor and say, oh, I need some more X, Y, and Z, whatever medication it is. All at the same time, trying to study and learn about holistic things. Ooh, this tooth is hurting. <laughs> the other thing is, stay up on your checkups, dentists, if you need any dental work done, anything you need done medically from Western medicine, you better be about the business of getting it done sooner than later at the rate some of these doctors are going. Uh, you have some that I'm hearing, if you're not beat up, they won't see you or they're starting to do this little trend where they won't see individuals who are not. Hopefully you have not experienced that. Hopefully you won't. But to be ahead of the game, you might want to just get these appointments in get to tip-top shape as best as you can change that the diet the eating habits um, stock up on different vitamins i understand everybody's budget is different you can only do what you can do so I, i'm not trying to scare anybody i'm just saying let's think ahead Whenever you know you got a Dollar Tree, they have medicines and things like that, cold over-the-counter medicines, cold medicines, sinus medicines, liquid band-aids, all kind of goodies in that area. So what I do is normally when I go make a trip to Dollar Tree, I grab a couple of things that I think would probably be needed down the line at some point. So whether it's cold medicines they sell turmeric they have vitamin d3 um alcohol hydrogen peroxide all of those types of things we need to band-aids we need to stock up on those things and like i said gradually over time before you know it you'll have plenty so get a little container from there i get the shoe boxes the plastic clear shoe boxes because I like to see what I have in each container. And I just put my, I take them out of the boxes, you know, like uh, hydrogen cortisone, take it out of the box, put it in the, the shoe box, and I just stockpile it that way. So I just wanted to come on here and put that message out, out here. 
you're going to continue to hear the same messages over and over, repackaged in different ways, but it's still the same message, especially if you are paying attention to what's going on or maybe you have not noticed what's going on. So these uh, videos are very important so that you know and light bulb comes on and you say, okay, what's going on is serious. It can get serious real quick. Things can change in the blink of an eye. They already went from, you know, telling individuals, workers, okay, well, we'll just test you every week. They went from that to, nope, 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 never mind. Mm -mm. You just got to get this or you're out of here. So things can change rapidly. Certain areas, you already have to show the card to go to bars, lounges, <clears throat> clubs. Eventually, it will be to get into regular restaurants. Some states, it's probably already like that, to get into regular restaurants, no grocery stores that I know of anywhere just yet. So you've got to get ahead of this. If you are new to prepping and all of this is new, don't get overwhelmed. It's doable. You just do it just baby steps. How do you take down an elephant? One bite at a time. Or how do you eat an elephant? However that saying goes, one bite at a time. It's just that we're a little behind on the meal. So we we really got to start eating this elephant one bite at a time, but starting now, like yesterday. But if you're just now getting started, that's fine. Just get started and stay consistent. The key is being consistent at what you're doing. And by the time you look up, you'll have a nice variety of things that you and your family needs. Sometimes you're going to have to get a little extra for those because you're going to have family members or friends who are not paying attention. And if you have a big heart and you want to make sure that they're going to be okay too because you know they're still asleep and you have to be mama bear or papa bear and get some extra things from them, then by all means do so. But the overall point of the video is for those that are on medications, get extra if you can from your um, physician. Seek out holistic doctors or holistic ways to do things and stockpile the other things. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. You, we have got to take care of each other. If you have any comments, any suggestions, any ways to be able to get extra medicine from a physician, if you know of a, a other ways that you can help somebody else out with ideas, then please share it in the, in the comment section below. Thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. And remember, we have got to stick together right now because... They are just trying to do a great divide, and let's not let that happen, okay? I am here for you. You can email if you like to. But other than that, once again, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Get busy, and I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.